Hi everybody, this is the Baseball Hide the Amazing, Spectacular, Terrific, the Great One, the People's Champion, your host, the Hunter. Welcome back to the Baseball Hide 2, and hope you like this video, and hit that subscribe button. So we're going to talk about Show Yotani, show me the money, show me the gambling debts, you know. Um, I did a video on him the other day saying he's really he's a lying disgrace, and the reason I say that is because uh, he told the media, and he and this is what this, the video is about, it's talking to the media. Um... He told the media that, that he had talked to a woman that caught a baseball, which was the first home run he hit for the Dodgers, but he never met her. Uh, you got to have good relationships with the fans. Now, from what I understand, the Dodgers smoothed it over with this lady, but he lied. Okay, what else is he lying about? Now, I would mention this <clears throat> before we get into, further into this video. Major League Baseball players are contractually obligated to talk to the media. They cannot avoid the media. And this is the reason why I'm doing this video, is because uh, a broadcaster here in New York, Michael Kay, talked about on his, and he broadcasts the Yankee games. He's the main broadcaster on, Yet, on the S Network. <clears throat> he's the main broadcaster on the, on the S Network. Uh, he's been calling Yankee games for 30 years. And he said something interesting on his radio program, which is on ESPN. Uh, New York, um, and it's simulcast on on Yes. He had some very interesting things to say about Otani, and you know how he's ducking, how he's ducking questions about the gambling scandal that is surrounding him. Over the last three weeks, we've heard absolutely no update on this situation. Major League Baseball has gone silent, except for two instances: the Los An the uh, Anaheim Angels, Los Angeles Angels. Broadcasters mentioned all the stuff going on in Major League Baseball, aside from Otani, and now Michael K. Michael K. is interesting to talk about with this situation because I wonder if players on the Yankees or team or players on other teams are talking to Michael K. Because the, the inference I have from going through this article and a, a clip that I heard earlier is that the players shouldn't talk. None of the Major League players should talk to the media. To, to shine light on Otani. So it makes me wonder if some players have gotten in the ear of K to get him to talk about it. And he has a big platform because he's got a big team that he broadcasts. Well, let me give you a little more detail on this. This is from an article from the New York Post. Uh, headline, Shoei Otani ducking questions on gambling scandal is unbelievable, according to Michael K. Yankees broadcaster Michael K is aghast that Shoei Otani has not had answer any questions about the gambling scandal involving his former interpreter, Ipe Misahara. Misahara, who was also a close friend of the Dodgers, slugger, has been accused of misappropriating $4.5 million of Otani's money to pay illegal gambling debts. Now, we have not heard any kind of uh, advance of this story, in particular with this interpreter. We haven't heard about how uh, there's going to be charges in terms of what uh, the Otani people want to do? Do they want to like uh, go to the to to uh, law enforcement? Because this could be like an embezzlement, you know. This could be like an embezzlement situation. Otani held a press conference last month that read a prepared statement denying that he has has bet on sports and claimed to have no knowledge that Miss Misahara had taken millions from his account until the media started looking into the story. Now, I thought something was interesting that, that Otani had said during his press conference, <clears throat> during this statement. After the first game in Korea against the Padres, uh, Miss Sahara was informed by the, I guess, by the, by the Dodgers that he was fired. Well, he talked, to the, he talked to the ball club for whatever reason uh, to tell them what was going on. And he talked and he spoke to them in English. Now, if if you were speaking in English, you would think that everybody in the room is going to know what you have to say. According to Otani, he didn't understand anything he said to the to the to the Dodgers. Now I have a question. This is a guy that he has worked with as his interpreter, not for the time he's been with the Dodgers. He's known him since 2013. This is 11 years, folks, as the interpreter of Otani and been a friend of his. And this is a, I believe um, uh, the interpreter was born in, in California. 
So he's American. So you have to ask the question, does Otani understand and speak English? Now, rumor I heard is that he does. And he doesn't want to talk to the press. And he, and he hides behind his interpreter. And we've seen this before. You know, it's no big deal. You don't want to talk to the press uh, you know, in English. There's been plenty of players that don't do that. We know that uh, uh, Ichiro didn't talk to the press in, in English. Because he didn't feel comfortable speaking English in front of the American press. We also know that the former Met, former A... Uh, you know, when Cespedes spoke English, but he never, he didn't feel comfortable talking to the press either in English. So, there's known to be, to be a thing. But, certain players, Cespedes did talk to the press, even if it was in Spanish. But Otani never talks to the press after any game. Let me get back to the article. Since that time, he has not answered any questions about the matter, which is under investigation by both the Feds and MLB. A fan named... Ken in Connecticut called into my K's ESPN New York radio show on Tuesday. When they had this story, which was a bombshell two weeks ago, has seemingly gone away entirely. Quote, the most unbelievable thing to me, fans don't care about this. The guy has never had to take questions on this, not once. K mused. What other athlete in any professional sport would be allowed to remain mum, not say a word other than a prepared statement and never take a question? Co-host Don LaGreca said that while Tani may be an international star, he has benefited from the regional aspect of baseball where fans are mostly concerned with their own teams rather than the sport at large. Who is just amazing to me after every tough loss. And Cisco Lindor, Aaron Judge, and Juan Soto talk, K continues. This guy doesn't have to answer a question, and he's in the middle of what could be one of the biggest scandals in baseball history, and he has not answered a question. The two questions Kay said that Otani should have to answer are whether he bet on baseball, which he denied in the press conference, and how he and his financial representatives possibly could not have noticed millions of dollars missing from his bank account. Now, I don't have, I don't uh, subscribe to The Athletic, but there is a story about Otani involving his new contract with the Dodgers. And that's supposedly... $90 million is tax deferred to where he has found a loophole in the law out in California where he's not paying $90 million of back or front-ended taxes or whatever it is. So this guy who doesn't talk to the media has all this stuff going on and always found it very weird to me that he took it upon himself to tell the Dodgers that he would defer $68 million of back salary after he after his contract is up. I always thought it was a strange thing. Now we see this story with $90 million, which, hey, and from what I understand, the people out in California, uh, some representatives out there are trying to close that loophole. But he found a loophole where he didn't have to pay $90 million. There are people in that state and in this state that are paying so much in taxes. And he found this loophole. God bless him. But he's been able to get away with it. See, he's getting away with a lot of stuff. Now, I did a video on him a few days ago, like I said at the beginning of this, of this video. If you're going to leave comments about what I'm talking about here, do not attack the messenger. This is not about me. I don't give a shit about this player one way or the other. If you've been with the mess, this is all we would have heard about. But this would not come to a stop. If he was in New York, it would you, we would be talking about it here. And believe me, I wouldn't be avoiding it. I'd be avoiding the subject. Secondly, a lot of people have written to me saying, well, he's Japanese. Well, duh. Kota Sang is Japanese. The kid in, in Boston, the, the outfield, he's Japanese. You got uh, the kid in, uh, the guy in, in Chicago, Japanese. There's plenty of Japanese players that talk to the media, but he doesn't. He's got something to hide. And now I'm starting to see it. And hopefully people understand that. So don't take it out on me if I'm talking about it. I'm just the messenger. And I have my opinions. But don't say I'm jealous. Don't bring disgusting degenerate comments. Or I'm just going to take the comments down completely. Because that's what happened on Monday. People were hitting me so hard. I was like, enough. So you write to me. Show respect to me. Because when I do these videos, I show respect to the audience. And people that are, are mostly, most of them are Dodger fans, to be honest with you. They don't want to hear this story. They don't want to hear about this stuff. 
It's going to come out. Whatever nonsense has happened with this player, it's going to come out. You can't duck the truth. You can't hide the truth. The truth always comes out. Every single time. You know, like I said, it's about find out what's going on here. What's going on with this guy? And as a player, his teams have never won anything. The Angels, for all those years that he was in, in Anaheim, they never won anything. Never. Ever, ever, ever. Hopefully more people will start talking about why this has been swept under the rug. Why? I also mention this too. It seemed like when this all came out that Major League Baseball seems kind of surprised that this uh, story came out. Major League Baseball have people on their payroll that that follow players around that are dealing with shady situations. Uh, and it, that's been going on for over 100 years since the Black Sox scandal. They hire private investigators to follow players and to find out what they're doing, especially if they're uh, dealing with uh, unsavory types. I'll give you an example. This is a, a Mets example. In 2018, I believe, the Mets could not find Matt Harvey. And I think there was a point there where the Mets thought that he died. As it turned out, he has he had some kind of drug issue. They said private investigators to go look for him. So Major League Baseball had private investigators on their payroll to investigate what's going on with these players. If people connected to any Major League team is connected to any gambling situation, any gamblers, any bookies, any mafioso types, they're going to follow them and they're going to figure out what the hell is going on. Major League Baseball was not blindsided by this situation. If you think they were, I'm going to tell you, you know, it's not true. It's not the case. Well, anyway. Whew. Let me know what you think about this video. And again, it's not about me, okay? There's no dispute in his talent, okay? That's not the issue. The issue is we want the truth to come out. If this guy gambled on baseball, he can't play baseball. If he didn't gamble on baseball, we want to know about it. But he, we should know what he has to say, what he has to think, what he's thinking, what's going on here. Why is he exempt when other Japanese players aren't being exempt? It's a simple thing. Well, he wants his privacy. That's not how the rules are. If every player has to speak to the media, why doesn't he? Well, we'll have to find out. But anyway, thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to Baseball Hut 2. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.